everyone. So we just rolled into the Hot Rod Rock and Rumble. We were up here last year, if you remember. April and I ran everybody with everything. Drag racing them on the little eighth mile drag strip. You can cruise the oval here. Lots of classic cars just parked and you can check out car show, all of that stuff. So we're gonna go roll through here and then get out on the drag strip and start making some passes. Here in a little bit, I think they got a uh, women's like drag race competition that April ended up in the finals in last year and we had fun doing all that stuff. So I'm gonna try that again and otherwise just have a good day and hang out with some classic cars. This was part of the reason why I built Clyde to like pre-72 is so he can make it into all these old car shows as well. So, you ready? Ready. Should be a good day. There's a ton of cars here. Lots of, uh, lots of cool classic stuff everywhere. Got some matching runs. Old fire department made it. And then, uh, yeah, that thing's cool right there. That polishing unit. Go over here and get us some food, probably. Clyde's doing pretty good since the uh, transmission seal change. So far, so good. So hopefully that stays stays up, too. So Clyde made it no problems. We actually ran up, like I said, last night, but it rained on us, so didn't get to do much. Now we're here. They got a big swap meet, a like vintage camper area, the drag strips right there, and then the oval that you can cruise. So we're just going to... Uh, go walk around. I do dig this ramp truck. I want a ramp truck. I think those are cool, but uh, go walk through here and see what we can find. Gonna start off today with a pulled pork Hawaiian sandwich, I guess, but there is a burnout pit here at the event. I really wanted to bring Bernie and do the burnout competition, but then when I messaged him and asked the, um, at 76 and prior, so it kind of falls in line with all the stuff about like the drag strip and all that stuff. I think there's like an open burnout time where maybe you could just do any car, but I not for sure, but I know the competition part of it that pays like 500 bucks is uh, is 76 and prior only. So hopefully there's a truck event coming up here soon that we'll be able to bring the truck up to and do burnouts and that one. All right, everyone, so we're here in the little drag race line. We got a bunch of old school hot rods around us. Getting ready to make some passes. I'm gonna make a couple, then April will do a couple, and then there should be that girl drag race here a little bit. So see if we can uh, keep winning like we did last year. All right, we're pulling up here. This is one thing that's really cool here. They have bands playing above people doing drag racing. It's super cool. So we'll uh, figure out who we get lined up against here. All right, it looks like we'll be racing this little, I think that's a 270 or 280 Z. We'll, uh, it's got drag rails all the way around. Get the little belt ski on. Can you roll up your window? Oh yeah. Do it for the uh Do it for what? The oh, safety? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking aerodynamics, but Oh, okay. spinning crazy crazy hard today i'm trying to remember if we had the drag radials on it last year maybe we drove it up and back both days on a drag radial but i thought we were on the street tires so i'm actually going to look back at that video uh but the track is everybody's spinning like crazy but then when the car spins hard and first it shifts with the electronic throttle the way it like pulls the power in it gets really really sketchy so 
Uh, maybe let the track hopefully come around, get some heat in it, and then I'm, I'm curious if I ran. So we just have our street tires that we drive on. I actually just pulled those off the front of the burnout truck from doing the burnout comps, now they're on this. Uh, but I could have swore last year I ran on those, but but maybe not. Maybe I did the drag rails on last year, which would be a huge help right now. Uh, but it is what it is, we'll just keep playing and cruising around. Well, everybody, after reviewing the tape from last year's event, I kind of screwed up and I did not put the drag rails on it. I could have swore we had the regular stock tires on it last year and the weather must have been good enough to where we just drove up and back on the regular tires this year. It's been raining, but I was like, well, we ran on the street tires all year, so there's no sense of putting the drag rails on it this year. Totally should have done the drag rails. I thought thought Clyde would just hook on those street tires and definitely having traction too issues. Power. Just too much raw horsepower in this thing but uh we might go up and play a little bit more and try to maybe stall it or play with it launching but it's definitely like last year you just no matter what you did it would dead hook and go and this year it is just not doing that so um yeah we're gonna go play and probably get beat some this year unfortunately but no it's it's just a fun event it's not like it's a big competition or anything anyway but it is fun when you're beating a bunch of people that's for sure we're gonna actually head up there and go do a few more laps and uh, maybe go check out some cars, stuff like that, and watch some racing. So yeah, that's kind of the update on why the car is so sketchy today. Back in line, give it another try with the crap tires. I'll show you guys, this is kind of how they have it set up where you can drive around this banked oval, which is kind of a cool part about it, and uh, do some cruising or do some racing. So many different things. Belt it up. Good. Okay. I would just barely break it. Not really any throttle, just kind of touch both. Try it that way and then just go to half throttle till it feels like it's hooked and then go. Let's go. Still spun really Still bad. So see, that was like a second slower than our last one, just because it spun so bad. <laughs> it's crazy. All these cars cruising across here. See, and then when it on that one, you can tell like it, the car hates you to pedal it because it'll be like you get out of it and then you go, and then it tries to hold it in the gear, and then it shifts. It's it's all over the place, but we're getting it. We're trying to get it figured out here so we can at least uh, compete with what we got today. Before that one, I even tried twenty. 
two pounds in the ground stock tires and that just didn't work out well so so many cool things though danny's got his turbo chevelle he tried running that and it spun all crazy because he's not on uh bias plies either a little bit of everything here probably the best part about this car though it's been running close to probably 45 minutes straight, just in the lanes, driving around, making pass 177 degrees. This thing runs awesome. Most of it's because it doesn't have a hood, but we'll take it. Got a little race car action this time. Oh, God. He's all over the place. I didn't even get that. <laughs> he was all over the place, too. Just got done watching the burnout contest, pit thing, whatever they want to call it out here. Really wish Bernie would have been able to come out, but due to like age or year or whatever, it couldn't enter in the burnout comp. So maybe at the next event, we'll try to make it out. It's still itching. Like I was more excited to be around the burnout pit than the drag strip, which is kind of crazy, but it's just fun doing something new like the burnout truck stuff. So. Uh, I'm gonna head back over here and just hang out for a while see if there's anything else that goes on then maybe get the heck out of here All right, everyone. So we made it back after the hot rod rock and rumble Unfortunately, they're kind of midday it rained, so We watched some burnouts and then we just kind of called it a day hung out with some friends So sometimes that's what's fun about some of those events right as you you go to plan to do a bunch of stuff But it ends up being just more of a chill hang out have a good time with everybody just chatting and talking cars and hanging out and doing hot rod stuff. So that's kind of what we actually did there towards the end of the day was just hung out with a bunch of friends and just had a good time and talked cars and checked out some other cars and stuff like that. So some of those events seem to be the best. You're almost not going out to race or compete or have this like big day of all this stuff. You almost just go out, have a good time and call it a day. So that is exactly what we did. Clyde did awesome. Everything is good to go on Clyde. Uh, nothing really needed to be done there. So just keep enjoying it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy the Clyde content and, uh, we'll see you guys next time.